We're going through a recession right now. So a recession basically is a widespread, prolonged and significant economic downtime. So this is whereby there is no growth in terms of economic activities in a particular country or generally in the world. So right now, are we going through a recession? That, that's the question that most analysts are asking themselves. And obviously, looking at by the numbers, looking at the interest rates being hiked every single day in the US and in the UK just yesterday, it shows that definitely there is a recession coming. And you just look at the economic activities all over the world, you can see clearly that there's an economic recession that's coming. Reasons for this could be there have been two downturns in succession and that's what investopedia says about recessions even if you go do that research by yourself so the downturns could have been there was the covid that interfered with economic activities for a prolonged time uh, timeline or a prolonged period of time and then after covid we had the war uh, in russia that again interfered with things and in terms of uh, supply chains and logistics all over the world and then we had the oil issues again during covid and even after covid so there has been issues when it comes to things that spur economic activities and economic growth. So despite the economy tried to come, trying to come back just after COVID, that did not work. So are we going through a recession right now? Time will tell, but probably and based on the research and based on experts and based on what I think, we are already in a recession at the moment. But this is the time to get money. This is the time to actually get wealthy. So don't be afraid and I'm gonna tell you how. This is a great opportunity for most people to actually get into the market and start building wealth. A recession is a good news for people who invest. And sometimes you go through life without experiencing a recession or you invest for a long time, see lots of growth, see lots of positive earnings, but you don't really experience proper recession. And those recessions can be opportunities. So however much you don't experience them, it can be a very difficult point for you because you realize, wow, things are just not as good as they look. So you go and look at the shares, you look at your stocks, you look at your real estate values, everything seems to be going down. A recession naturally is occasioned by things like, you know, high unemployment rates, low salaries, low economic demand by people generally, low economic output. Basically, people are not producing stuff, you know, uh, much less economic activities in a particular country and in a particular jurisdiction all over the world, depending on where it's happening. Most of the time, if it happens in like the big economies, then it will affect all the other economies as well. And it doesn't really isolate. Uh, particular regions, especially with the things that have led to this particular recession, this has affected, I would say, everyone globally. So a recession basically is whereby we are experiencing low earnings by most companies. And companies will, of course, when they experience low earnings, they will obviously want to cut off their employees. And that's the first point of cutting costs, right? So a lot of things do happen during a recession. And you can go and do that research. But this is a good time to actually make money. And I'm talking about Safaricom specifically in Kenya because I want to use it as an example to show you how a recession can help you build wealth. So if you look at the topic, it says Safaricom shares at a discount at the moment. What I'm trying to say is that this is an opportunity for people to actually start investing or be more aggressive when it comes to investing. So how do you start building wealth in a recession? How do you actually invest in a recession? How do you make sure that you position yourself to make money? Like I said, a recession is good news for investors. Remember here at Kinds Money Matters to talk about the money mindset, how to make that money, how to enjoy that money, how to manage that money, how to invest that money, and how to assure yourself of a lifetime of income, basically financial freedom. So a recession is happening, just like we've established. Let's say things are that thick right now. What should you do? Number one, I just mentioned Safaricom, but generally shares, stocks. This is the best time to start investing in stocks. Example being Safaricom, and that's where Safaricom comes in. It's a good opportunity because, like I said, companies are losing earnings, there's no economic growth. Most of the time, the stock prices fall. If you look at the S&P 500 right now, you will see that the prices are at way low. You look at the major ETFs that are all-time low. You look at the technology sector, all-time low. The health sector, all-time low. Consumer sector, all-time low. Every single index that determines the economic growth of the world or of different countries is at all-time low. What does this show you? That this is a time of buying shares or whatever it is you want to buy at a discount. You see, when you rush to a shop because there's a discount, there's a clear and sell, this is exactly that time when it comes to stocks. And according to analysts, there will still be a downturn and there could still be another drop of about 20%. As we speak, stocks have dropped almost 
25 to 30 percent from their all-time high that shows you very clearly that if we could still experience a drop of 20 percent we're talking about almost 50 percent drop now that's a big drop if you invested a hundred thousand you only have a value of fifty thousand now sometimes when you have investments it's very painful to look at them at this particular time i avoid looking at mine to be honest but when they are thriving you are happy too but remember this is just a paper loss until you cash in or you get out of the market then you haven't lost yet and usually the markets will rebound but yes this is the best time to start investing most people make money in the stock market invest during recessions or during downturn economic activities so when it comes to shares in kenya for example i've said the shares you can buy i've said the shares you can buy during ruto's presidency i've done shares you can buy in kenya i've done the sectors you can get involved with in kenya i've done all those videos if you want to know what shares to buy you know that so for example i was giving safaricom as an instance safaricom was at an all-time high of 44 shillings per share as we speak safaricom is at 24 shillings at the recording of this video 24 shillings per share now that is a serious discount on safaricom uh, shares and if you're someone who is serious about investing or about buying safaricom shares or about buying one of the best telecommunication companies in africa this is an opportune moment to grab and run and take lots of shares for yourself trust you me you will thank me later so grab yourself some shares from safaricom if you have seen the kind of drop that safaricom has had imagine someone who invested when the safaricom was at 44 they are basically looking at almost 25 30 40 percent loss on that actually it could be more than that but it's painful now it's a paper loss but like i said as long as you don't cash it in you haven't lost the second way of building wealth at this particular time and especially in africa is bonds bonds are really good in africa depending on which country you are in i know some there's only one or two countries in africa whose bonds have been devalued but if you look at kenya for instance uganda for instance uh, tanzania we have really good bonds it's a good time to conserve that wealth that money that you have the value of it by investing in something that gives you a good return so yes bonds will not lose you any money because no one will lose money during an economic recession because of course people don't have money there's no high earnings in activities no business is happening so you want to retain the value of your money but at the same time you want to invest and make sure you're getting some returns so bonds become a very good place to actually stack your money right now because then you get to safeguard whatever it is you have but also not lose it in, in, a, in a process of inflation you still get good returns out of it so it's a win-win situation for you and bonds in africa like i said are an excellent opportunity for people who want to invest and even those who are starting to invest afresh the third thing would be money market funds again consistent returns security of your principal amount and you get really really good returns good return on investment of nine to ten percent sometimes even up to eleven percent depending on which one you are with i've done so many videos on money market funds this is a time you can also actually use money market funds to pack some money or pack some money for liquidity or even for long term or for income purposes you can have different objectives with regards to the money you put in money market funds can be an emergency money emergency fund can be for income purposes in terms of monthly income from that money can be for long-term investments or medium-term investments can be for some specific purchases so it depends can be for liquidity you just want liquidity or as you keep the value of your money and see how the recession is going to turn out so you can use money market funds right now again one of the best we have in africa uh, one of the best investment opportunities we have without any risk the only risk you take of course is the risk of the market in terms of uh, uh, in terms of the companies or the firms that you invest with so yes money market funds are a good place to go right now and then of course people's favorite is real estate right now the value of real estate will go down right now i know it's at all-time high right now in the uk in the us real estate is, is on fire but we're seeing a slow growth right now it's been crazy but we're seeing some slow growth lately and i know in a recession things will happen and prices will drop this is the time to look for that property you've been looking for to buy that property you've been wishing to buy so but you have to wait until you see that the recession is actually happening and that the prices have actually dropped if you are trying to use that opportunity to actually buy real estate but yes it's a good time to get into the real estate market if you've been thinking about it again you will be assured of growth because if you look at historical returns real estate has continuously grown so despite those troughs or those downturns it has continuously grown quite well so that's one place you'd want to invest in right now during a recession then of course cash you want to have cash hard cash hard cash cash is cash is king i'm low so you can imagine cash is cash is king so when i say cash is king it means right now cash is important sometimes in a recession you need that liquidity you need money because when you have money then you can now go and buy certain things that are on discount remember if things are on discount and you don't have cash then you actually cannot buy them 
So yes, it's important to have some cash right now. I'm not saying millions of cash. I'm just saying some cash that can help you buy a few shares or a few things that are on discount. So it's good to keep some cash. Again, the cash will also be security for you. Hard cash becomes important because instead of going and losing all the money somewhere, why not just have the cash? Because then you return the value of whatever it is you have. You will lose part of it to inflation. But then if you tend to be secure because recession typically will take a year or two years, uh, a year to two, depending on what most um, researchers do say, you can actually have the cash for that period just to secure yourself. You might want to keep the cash. So having cash at this particular time will be important. But for someone who's starting to invest, I would not advise this. For someone who's still in the process of making wealth, and someone in Africa, there are so many opportunities you can invest in that still ensure that you have something like cash, you have liquidity, you can access the money at any time. So it actually beats logic to actually have cash. But of course, if you've done investments, you have so many things spread around the, the place, then you are free to actually have some hard cash with you. Then last but not least is business. This is the best time to start a business. Why do you want to start a business when there is a recession? It looks like hmm, a conflicting theory. Simple. When you want to start a business, you want everything else to be less expensive for you because you're going to be buying things. You're going to have uh, to generate capital. When you're generating capital, it means if things are cheaper in the market, you can get more. So if you're going for labor, labor becomes cheaper because people are unemployed. If you're going for some resources, they become cheaper because nobody's using them or nobody's in a position to buy them at that time. So things become less expensive and therefore it's easier and cheaper to start a business at that particular time when there's a recession. The other thing is the availability of employees, availability of labor. So you can easily use cheap labor and then start whatever it is you want to start. And then there's less competition. Nobody is going to start a business during a recession. And that's why you have to think like an investor. When people are fearful, you greedy. When people are greedy, you are fearful. So at that time when everyone is fearful of starting a new business, that's when you get into the market and start a new business because there's less competition. And what happens when there's less competition? Monopoly thrives. What happens when there's monopoly? Money. When it happens with this money, you get to invest and grow and grow and grow. So that monopoly or that need to have a proper business will be very helpful for you if you are looking into starting something new during a recession. Besides just being less expensive, there's less competition, things are less expensive, and of course, most opportunities are at that particular time uh, propping up or thriving. So you could find that opportunities that were blocked when everyone was busy having economic activities or busy trying to start new stuff. Right now, you'll find that most people are not busy starting those new businesses and therefore there are so many opportunities coming up. So lots of opportunities come up during recessions. Again, there are so many gaps to fill in an economy. So you find, find that a lot of people maybe have closed shop, they have closed businesses, they have uh, stopped whatever it is they were trying to do, or they are giving it time and see how things turn out, or they are keeping cash. It means then naturally there will be more opportunities in the market, more gaps to fill, more value to provide, and then you can make money. That's what you cash in on. So when it comes to that, when it comes to a recession, these are some of the things you can actually use to start making money right now or think of as we go deeper into the recession. And of course, you will know very well when you are deep into the recession. Right now, we're already feeling it. So you just need to be prepared and you need to approach it from an open mind, knowing that you, as an investor, this is a once in a lifetime opportunity. Some people may not, never experience a recession again in their lifetime. Some people never actually do. So when you get the opportunity, use it to your advantage and make money. But like I said, Safaricom shares are at a discount at the moment, really. And I have no paid partnership or no paid promotion with Safaricom. I just like the stock usually. I like the Safaricom shares. And I think from a high of 44 to a low of 24, why not? Why not tell people to go and buy a good stock? Anyway, guys, I hope that's helpful. Let me know what you think in the comment section below about recession, about stocks that you want to buy or things you want to buy. Until next time, I'm out.